Science fiction novels written by the most creative and imaginative minds of the day only rarely come close to the strange and unbelievable wonders of outer space. Although we have yet to discover proof of alien life or a strange otherworldly civilization that has been hidden among the exoplanets, sometimes the truth is even stranger than fiction, and the cosmos continually amazes those who have devoted their lives to uncovering its secrets. From the search to confirm the existence of enigmatic dark matter to tracking the progression of massive solar eruptions, there seems to be no limit to the number of secrets and wonder that outer space can harbor. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be diving deep into three interesting discoveries and revealing what they mean for our understanding of the cosmos stretching infinitely towards the beyond. NASA Detects Dark Matter Noise Scientists have spent centuries staring into space with whatever technology was available at the time, be it the naked eye or top-of-the-line telescopes and satellites. These methods have allowed us to paint startlingly clear pictures of what the world looks like in the mysterious expanse beyond our atmosphere, even if it did not always give us all the answers. Recently, researchers have begun taking a new approach to understanding space. Rather than seeing it, they are attempting to hear it, and what they have heard so far has already proven to be groundbreaking. The new project, run by NASA, uses a process called data sonification to translate data collected throughout the years by various NASA missions into sounds. These missions include the Chandra X-ray Observatory, Hubble Space Telescope, and Spitzer Space Telescope, have long provided opportunities to view space from the confines of Earth, and now have shown that incredible things can be discovered as well when we hear space. One of these sounds, compiled by data sonification of the bullet cluster, was transcribed from images of what may be the first direct proof of dark matter. Dark matter's existence has been theorized by many scientists, but it has been incredibly difficult to confirm, as the particles composing dark matter cannot be seen or observed. They do not absorb, emit, or reflect light, so no form of electromagnetic radiation can pin them down. In fact, the only way that researchers have been able to directly observe dark matter is by attempting to measure the effects that it has on the objects around it. Sound waves transcribed from the measures of these effects may have provided a new way to study and observe it at last. In particular, recordings of X-rays from the Chandra Observatory show a region of what is known as gravitational lensing, where hot gas produced by two merging galaxy clusters was rapidly pulled away from what was assumed to be dark matter. These images of the bullet cluster were one of the first pieces of direct proof that researchers had of dark matter, which made it an easy choice for the data sonification project. The data was arranged by frequency, spanning a range with dark matter operating at the lowest frequency all the way to X-rays at the highest. Each frequency was then assigned a pitch, with higher frequencies denoting higher pitches. As the beautiful space music played, full of the high, tinkling notes of galaxies and X-rays, there, at last, was the low, observable hum in the gravitational lensing of dark matter. Astronomers are hopeful that the study of dark matter in this way might reveal previously unknown secrets held by the elusive dark matter. Astronomers baffled by dramatic temperature changes on Neptune. It seems that Earth is not the only planet that is experiencing dramatic temperature changes throughout its atmosphere, as researchers recently recorded unexpected temperatures on our distant neighbor Neptune. 
Where Earth is undergoing a rapid global warming phenomenon, it seems that Neptune is moving in the opposite direction and recording significantly decreasing temperatures that have spanned across the past two decades. Researchers made this discovery by using almost 100 infrared images that had been taken of the planet with ground-based telescopes in Hawaii and Chile to analyze the atmospheric temperatures of Neptune. Specifically, the temperatures of its relatively stable stratosphere, which lies above the more turbulent weather layer. Once they began analyzing the results, they realized that Neptune's stratosphere had fallen to 117 degrees Celsius through the course of the 17 years included in the study. This discovery, which was the most comprehensive study of the planet's atmospheric temperatures to date, was especially surprising as researchers had expected to measure an increase in temperatures on the side facing Earth. As Neptune's southern hemisphere progressed in its summer season, which is incredibly lengthy and lasts up to 40 years. Yet, the temperatures of the usually stable stratosphere proceeded in the opposite direction, plunging over 8 degrees Celsius in the two decades where temperatures were recorded. Although this might not seem like an incredibly large amount to fall, because the stratosphere is above the turbulent weather layer and has a much more stable temperature, any temperature change at all is noteworthy. Even more interesting, was the fact that the troposphere of the planet, a layer which is typically incredibly cold, did not measure significant variability and stayed rather stable at a very frigid 223 degrees Celsius. Michael Roman, lead author of the study detailing these strange results and a postdoctoral researcher at the University of Leicester in England, stated in the Planetary Science Journal that the atmosphere appears more complicated than we had naively assumed, which, unsurprisingly, seems to be a general lesson that nature teaches scientists again and again. I suspect the overall temperature drop may most likely be due to changes in the atmospheric chemistry, which responds to changing seasonal sunlight and, in turn, alters how effectively the atmosphere cools. I think Neptune is very intriguing to many of us because we still know so little about it. And indeed, we do know few things for certain about Neptune, which is why astronomers are paying special attention to these temperature changes, as this outermost planet in the solar system provides an excellent example of what the weather might look like on exoplanets orbiting their own stars outside of our solar system. Neptune orbits very distantly from the Sun and is classified as an ice giant with an incredibly dynamic atmosphere and lacking a solid surface. These features of Neptune and its icy neighbor Uranus are much more similar to many of the exoplanets that have been discovered, making them excellent case studies to predict how weather works on far-reaching planets outside of our solar system. And this latest discovery of Neptune's strangely dropping temperatures has only reinforced the mystery of our outermost neighbor. A corpse sunspot just exploded. Many people have heard of sunspots, which are the temporary dark patches that appear periodically on the surface of the sun. They look darker than the surrounding area due to an increased amount of magnetic flux that temporarily inhibits convection, lasting anywhere from mere days up to a few months. Although many people typically do not give these sunspots a second thought, they can occasionally impact our lives here on Earth as they break apart. When this happens and the magnetic fields over the sunspot give out under the stress of external forces, the plasma lurking beneath the sunspot explodes outward in what is known as a solar flare. And recently, one of the so-called corpses of these sunspots shot out a blast of plasma in an explosion that occurred on April 11, 2022, resulting in a flaming ball barreling towards Earth. AR-2987, a sunspot that has been presumed dead, erupted in a C-class solar flare that triggered a coronal mass ejection as it sent enormous amounts of radiation scattering throughout space at a rate of over 1 million miles per hour. Despite how alarming this may sound, there is likely no reason to panic, as erupting sunspots like this one rarely affect our planet. In fact, C-class flares are incredibly common, and although it is slightly more unusual for them to trigger coronal mass ejections, it's not unheard of by any means. The Sun has its own solar weather and goes through increasing periods of activity and rest called solar cycles. 
during which sunspot flares such as this one are viewed as rather par for the course. Philip Judge, a solar physicist with the High Altitude Observatory at the National Center for Atmospheric Research, told Live Science that, occasionally sunspots can restart, with more magnetism appearing later in days or weeks at the same region, as if a weakness was made in the convection zone or as if there is an unstable region under the surface that is particularly good at generating magnetic fields beneath. So, although the idea of an enormous coronal mass ejection hurling plasma magnetization and radiation towards our planet at a speed of over 1 million miles per hour might at first be an alarming thought, it seems that there is likely very little to fear, as most people will not even notice any sort of disturbance at all. It's expected that this eruption will likely generate a small geomagnetic storm, which could cause minute fluctuations in satellite and power grid operations and make the famous northern lights shine a little more brightly than usual. But such disruptions are common with solar flares, and we are at no risk of being consumed by a fiery ball of sun plasma anytime soon. But what do you make of these discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.